first of all. Hello. You join us in Wiscombe in Devon and it's very, very pretty as you can see. And we're at the Wiscombe Park hill climb. We've never been here before and we're just going to do a bit of a walk around, aren't we really? Yeah, we had a friend tip us off from Bicester Heritage that it's one of the like, nice niche kind of things to get into. If you've never been to a hill climb before, this is a nice one to start with, specifically pre-war. We're not taking part, I think. That we know of. But um, if, you, if, if anyone wants to <laughs> give us a seat. Anyway, we'll yes, uh, welcome to the Wiscombe Park hill climb. Let's go. We're back to doing what we do best. We have GoPros and we're just gonna <laughs> kind of work out how to get my beats back on. We're just gonna run around. There it is. Do you wanna go and stand next to it to give some context? It's quite big. That's absolutely ridiculous. Three blind mice do the wilderness. Yes. It's we're we're not I mean we're not in it yet. Let's let's no. keep, <laughs> let's keep any cars yet. No, let's keep going. <laughs> Point and shoot, isn't it? And oh, look at it. Oh. That's one of those things where it's like you literally just come out of there. We're literally parked in a field over there. We walk through the forest and just emerge onto this. And everyone was saying it was one of those things that when you did walk out, oh, it, it, it's very well hidden. It's all kept within its own little, its little bubble. Yeah. How nice. We have... Oh, the sound of a tannoy. Oh. <laughs> This is delicious. This is apparently the star car of the day. That is a device, isn't it? Yes, that's certainly <laughs> quite a device. I shan't claim to know what this is. No, no, no we'll go off what the book Here we says. Go. It's an Austin Horscott EB4. Here's my bet it's going to be incredibly loud. Like that, just. That's the literal definition of straight pipe. That comes out of the engine. Just <laughs> Yeah. That's gonna be so Let's loud. Get a look inside it. Look at it. Mm. What is that on the wheel? Why has it got like a so many things? Wow. The pedals are that's crazy. I haven't got a clue. It's sort of like a wooden seat. No, it's just look, it's just chain drive. And obviously, the, the, you know. obviously the body of it's literally canvas. It's wood and canvas. It's on tyres. That thing. Well, we'll look out for this, is... won't we? Let's go have a tour of everything that's... Yeah, that's... So the thing that we were told about this is that it is a hill climb, but it's a bit more... So friendly, in inverted commas. It all just seems very casual. Everyone's sort of just... Yeah. For example... Do F1 drivers do that before the race? No. <laughs> and we can just have a little look and walk and talk and have a look what, what they're on, so what we like. There's a lot of Rileys. A lot here. of Rileys, there's a lot of Austin 7 specials. Because I suppose it's so little, it's such a thin road. And it, I suppose to... if an Austin 7 was a special and it was really low to the ground, yeah. it would have a great look, Riley sprites and things. That's cute. Yeah, this, this one here. Yeah, yeah. A little silver one. Polished chrome. Blue wheels. Fraser Nash. Yeah, it is. This is what the guys at the Wrigley Monkey like. That is nice. I tell you what, I'm also a fan of that alpha. True. Let's, let's look. Bonnets open for all to see. That's pretty. That's a mint. Look how clean that is, isn't it? There's something about pre war Alpha, Alpha Romeo, yeah. Well, this is where it comes from, isn't it, really? Let's be honest. The fascination for Alpha comes from their older cars. Ah, you see, this would be this would be an interesting thing to show the viewers. The gear sticks on the outside. On the outside. Now, I have no idea how these work, but people use oh, carbon helmet. Go on. But what to do now is that a this example is very clean. Oh look, here you go. Hang on, look. Reverse. What does it say? 
Yeah. She got reversed and then. Oh. She got reversed and fourth. <laughs> <laughs> no. They are the only two options. We need to ask somebody how, how this works, but that's how people used to drive and change gear. If they had it, it would have been gearbox of some form. I just love how spartan all of it is. It's literally there's nothing else here but the method the comfort was a afterthought really with all of them wasn't it and i guess specifically these because they're racers yes exactly the, it's going to be like that yeah this isn't your daily what else have we got here that's cool it is 103 whatever it is that is a confusing front it's a, oh, it's a Woolsey. I guess it's a Woolsey Hornet special. Yeah. And you know what happens when you corner a Hornet? You get the sting. You get stung. <laughs> there you go. Whoever you are. What's the Blue Diamond? Blue Diamond. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. Again though, with the Austin 7 that we drove the other day, we didn't break it, but the point is, like, it, it would seem from the outset that that's complex and then it wasn't when you're in it so I'm sure they're not that difficult to drive can you tell me what number 20 is I can it's I'll tell you exactly what it is it's a bloody fool how cool is that very cool checkerboard grip oh yeah with the passenger seat slightly offset yeah I like that wooden floor yeah look it's like driving around in a house frame. It looks like something Dr. Zeus would draw. Yeah, yeah. Look, he, he, like, look at the, um, I presume that's a choke, but look at it. It's like a proper, like, <laughs> medieval key. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back uh, underway, as you can see, and how wonderful it is uh, on this. Right, so we're going to have a look at one of the tastiest bits here. So this is called a Connaught. But the one thing, ah, hello, the one thing that I would say about this, having walked around the paddock, this looks beefier than anything else here. There's like a whole different sort of definition with it that just you can tell it's XF1. Is it, it is F1? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just has a presence in the same way that a sports car to a modern F1 car, you can just see there's a different level of the tyres, I think it all just looks a bit... It just looks beefier. Just looks a bit meatier. Obviously hiding whatever's going on under there. Historic Grand Prix Association. Mm, yes. Monaco. Monaco is, yeah, so it's been in the Monaco. Yeah, so it's a proper, proper, proper thing. Where is it? I'm looking for... Ah, yes, there you go. We love our gear sticks today, don't we? No, we do love our gear sticks. But a lovely looking thing. Should we give you the exact spiel? Please, yes, please. And the fact that it was driven by Sterling Moss, I mean, come on, that's, that's enough. Provenance alone, I think. To give the exact spiel, it's a 1952 Connell A7. It's not eligible for what? Well, yeah, because it was win everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we're probably really bright. Um, so we're just going to wrap it up, I think, um, because we've <laughs> just we're trying to think. Where just, do we put the camera stand? Where do we make just, it look cinematic? And we've just walked all the way up the hill. It's a big hill, and um, now we're out of breath. And yes. It's time to go home. So, so we're getting we, a GoPro wrap up this time. So we're going to be driving home in none of those. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, we've had a really cool day. Um, we are going to do more hill climbs um, in the future. We're going to go to a few more. Got one in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We're going to Shelsey Walsh. Yeah. Climb, yeah, yeah. So, but as cool. but as a taster for hill climbs. Yeah, it was really what cool. A beautiful setting. Yeah, really cool. So yeah. And some of the cars were genuinely quick. Like, they, you know, you wouldn't think it because they're 1920s, 30s, 40s, whatever it is. But like, they look 
fast. Yeah, properly. Some of them look yeah, yeah, old, yeah. but some of them look genuinely fast. Yeah, some of them were going around the first corner, you know. On two wheels. On two wheels. Yes. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Um, please subscribe. Please subscribe. All the rest of all it. All the things. Uh, we'll and see we'll you in the next, next one. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>